Today we got one of the wildest story about Call of Duty. I didn't think that we we're gonna be actually talking about this uh, today, fellas. Sickers are beefing right now. Everybody beefing, 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 beefing. Everybody's like hey, beefing, beefing, beefing. Because apparently, you guys already know, like Blame Truth, considered to be the America's number one toxic gamer that's out there, right? You got the homie 8 Thoughts, Ghost of 8. He says that Black Ops 6 is going to be awesome. So, yeah, a lot of people were like, hey, man, like, I don't know what's going on, man. I don't know what's going on. I don't know who to believe. I don't know who to trust. And then, ultimately, today, the homie Ghost of 8 was like, Microsoft just killed Call of Duty. It's over. It is over. And Nero Shenema going crazy as well. Call of Duty is just embarrassing right now, he says. Uh oh, rolling. Warfare 3. The Call of Duty drama just never ends as of late. It's been pretty interesting to watch all this unfold. Recently, we've been talking about skill based matchmaking. Activision made comment on that, and most of it was BS. We were covering the skill based matchmaking news, and now Call of Duty is being flooded with cheaters. Yeah. So let's just go ahead and explain exactly what happened here. The other day, Modern Warfare 3 went on Xbox Game Pass, which is pretty cool. We know Black Ops 6 <laughs> is going to be on Game Pass. Modern Warfare 3 is now on Game Pass. Therefore, you don't have to buy the games if you yeah. have Game Pass. You can just jump yeah, in there and play, yeah. or even you can use PC Game Pass and play the game on your computer. That's where the issue lies, because apparently there's a bug with Call of Duty on Game Pass that what? allows people to essentially just bypass the Rico Chad anti G. Even in it's Ricochet, my man. It's Ricochet. It's Ricochet. Warzone, which you may be wondering, like Warzone's free. Why would it matter? How would Game Pass possibly affect that? Well, how it works is if you're playing Modern Warfare 3 or Warzone on PC Game Pass. The UI in the game shows you as playing on Xbox because you're okay. using Xbox Game Pass. Even though you're playing on a computer, the game detects you as playing on an Xbox mm. and other players in the game can't even turn off crossplay to avoid these people cheating because, again, they're playing on PC and cheating on PC, but they're being detected as yeah. Xbox. Therefore, turning <laughs> off crossplay cannot protect <laughs> the honest players out there. This oh, is my God, bro. This is why I have been saying this. I have been screaming this, man. We need crossplay between consoles only only uh, as an option or two so basically they can have a cross play between pc playstation xbox w we love that we love that okay Sega's love it Sega's don't love it Bruh. actually because of these cheaters they don't they love it but they don't like it because of that situation that's going around right but we need playstation and xbox only cross play as well like the video if you agree man as a brown man effective immediately if I, I demand that to happen immediately. Make online for PlayStation and Xbox free to play as well. That's that's all I want, man. If I was the president, free housing for everybody and uh, free online for my, my game, gamer bros out there, man. I'm saying, I'm saying, like the video for this one, guys. This is a real problem because Xbox and PlayStation users do not have nearly as strict anti-cheat detection as compared to PC. Now, a lot oh, yeah. of this is kind of out of my wheelhouse. I don't really know too much about this, but to my understanding, Xbox and PlayStation... Oh, it's not good, bro. It's not good. When you got sickers out here doing that... <laughs> And cheating all day, 24/7. They're hooked on G Fuel out there, Doritos. I'm not even sure what these suckers like doing the tick tick ticks, right? Like when they're hooked on that all day, 24/7, getting banned live on stream, and ultimately later on just using a different account to cheat again. Bruh. It's Joe over, fellas. It is Joe over. There's a reason why Blame Truth have been screaming. Joe Biden has been screaming. And I don't know what happened. Yo, Ant thoughts you listening, Brian guy? Like I don't know what happened to Justin Trudeau out here, bro. Like come on, Bruh. man. Like, come on, man. Like, what is this, bro? What is this? Black Ops 6 is going to be awesome. Yay! I love the guns, though. I love the guns that you're showing my, my guy right there. Yay, those guns, crazy, bro. That's crazy, okay? I like it. I like it. But, but damn, homie, Black Ops 6 is going to be awesome. I, I hope it's awesome. I want that to be awesome. But this is what I said in one of my last videos. It's honestly amazing that the homie... Because, you know what? Forget about everything for a second, right? It's honestly very, very sick that you're finding a game right now that you like, you know? Bruh. And I said the same for the homie Blame Truth. It's very, very nice that he likes. Uh, let me find. I'm trying to find. They're seriously trying. Uh oh. Okay. I don't think he likes it. Uh, nah, he loves. I know he loves uh, uh, X Defined. So I'm really, really happy that he loves X Defined. J Joe Biden loves X Defined. Okay. And I'm really happy that Justin Trudeau, he thoughts, the ghost of it, he loves Call of Duty right now. I'm happy for them being happy okay i'm happy that you guys are happy you feel what i'm saying like yeah sometimes gotta be happy for other people too guys
PlayStation cheat detection mainly focuses on things like a Cronus, right? But it doesn't work nearly as well for soft cheats like wall hacks, unlock tools, or even aimbot. Most of the Rico Chat anti cheat is set up in a way to really try to hinder PC cheaters as compared to console cheaters because while there are people that can cheat on console, it's way more difficult to get past all the security on Xbox and PlayStation as compared to PC, it? where it's kind of just like the Wild West. Well, yeah. because they're playing the game, whether it's Warzone or the Modern Warfare 3 multiplayer, because they're playing it on PC. PC Game Pass is bypassing all of that. Even though they're playing on PC and cheating on PC, they can just do whatever they want pretty much because the game is detecting them as playing on console. Therefore, they're completely bypassing the anti-cheat and people are getting pretty freaking crazy with it. Here, we're going to be showing some clips that people are tweeting me on Twitter. To my understanding, okay. there's always been cheaters in COD, right? That just yeah, makes yeah, sense. Yeah, yeah, but yeah. because of this... Yeah, Call of Duty is not Call of Duty without cheaters and cheaters are nobody without Call of Duty. Because of the anti-cheat just being completely bypassed, people are just going buck wild with it, man. They don't even care. They're not even trying to hide the fact that they're cheating because right now, there's really no consequences. Like, you can get shadow yeah. banned in the game, right? But if you're playing on PC games... Yeah, like, uh, who cares about the shadow ban? It's not gonna... It's not like... But but still, shadow ban is uh, better than nothing. Uh, I'll agree. Thank you for subscribing. I guess the homie agrees. But I believe on PC, bro... It's it's like free for all, bro. It's like free for all right now. Pass. It still puts you in regular lobbies. Like if you're shadow banned in the game, right? But if you're playing on PC Game Pass, it still puts you in regular lobbies. Like if your account gets flagged for a shadow ban, it doesn't happen anymore. Apparently, if you're playing on PC Game Pass, like it's one big giant bug. And Activision has yet to comment on anything. Microsoft has yet to oh, comment on anything. It, and it's got to be really embarrassing for them because obviously, right? Microsoft buys Activision, right? They buy yeah. COD and they put the newest, like most recent COD on Game Pass. They're like, wow, look at the value to our consumers. And then doing so completely bugs out the game and just makes it full of cheaters, full of hackers, and just ruins the experience for all the honest folk <laughs> oh out there. God. Like, it, I, I wonder, because on PlayStation, you can turn off crossplay. I'm not sure about Xbox. Some people say you can. Some say you cannot. And I don't have Xbox. I don't know, right? On PlayStation, you can turn it off. So I'm, And I haven't played Call of Duty in a while. So I'm not sure. Can you turn it off on PlayStation and you're fine? I, I mean, the last time I played, you could turn it off and you would be fine, right? But in this specific situation, now that it's bought out by Xbox, Activision, uh, I mean Microsoft, and with this new transition of bringing Call of Duty on Game Pass, now it's free. I like that. I mean, it's free. It's free. It's for me, right? It's one of those things. It's technically not free. It's free if you already have Game Pass, right? But they're increasing prices for that. We talked about it. That's another drama. We, we talked about that drama. A lot of people were pissed off with that too. I mean, it'd be what it'd be, man. Because Call of Duty is a big game. They gotta make their money somehow, right? So that's going on. But can you turn off crossplay on Xbox? I don't think you can. This is why there's this much uh, uh, crap going on. And man, my PC master is, guys. My PC homies that, that play on PC and that don't cheat. I mean, damn, man. Like, I, I feel the pain for you guys, too, because it feels like that everybody that plays on PC is a cheater, which is not true, but that's how it feels like right now, man. It's like the PC master race has gone crazy, bro. Not it's not a good course, look, but... which is why, of course, they're not saying anything official. I imagine if they are able to fix this, they're going to do it very quietly. They're going to try and sweep this under the rug because they mm. do not want mm. the negative PR of Xbox Game Pass essentially breaking Call of Duty, the yeah. game franchise that they yeah. just purchased for billions of dollars, right? So it's pretty freaking crazy overall. The kind Man, like, y'all sickers could have given, like, three, four, maybe even 20 billion to your players. Bruh. Right? Like distributing the wealth to the, the gamers. Right? Like the video if you agree, man. 20 billions, they should have divided and given to everybody instead of for like that. Or or you could have purchased Xbox Call of Act Activision, but like you could have been like, yo, Activision, let's do something good for the gamers together, man. Let's uh, give 20 billion to our gamers, to our customers, man, or customers. You take 50 billion, let's give 20 billion to the gamers out there. Listen, man. They should have done that, bro. They should have done that. If I was the president, I would have made that mandatory. Mandatory, bro. Like, seconds should be paid to play games nowadays, bro. We're in 2024. Get with the times, bozos. Get with the times, man. <laughs> of course, I'm exaggerating. Of course, I'm joking around. But still, bro, make online free. Xbox, PlayStation, y'all seconds need to make online free. Absolutely. On that part, I'm not joking around, man. Like, come on, man. You're paying for the internet. Then you're paying for the console. Then you're paying for the game. And then ultimately, you don't even get the content in the game for 
bit you paid for, right? It, it's like locked behind microtransactions this, microtransactions your ass, microtransactions this, that, this and the other, right? And then you also have to pay for online for you to be able to play the game. Like, damn, homie. What we talking about, man? Like, online should be free. Absolutely. Like the video if you agree, guys drama has just been ridiculous as of late and i have a feeling it's just going to continue as we go on here because we're going to be waiting for them to fix all the hackers and cheaters and cod i mean they just released season five and now we have all these hackers kind of ruining the experience whether it's in warzone or multiplayer doesn't matter nobody's safe essentially and then we have the yep. call of duty direct which is going to be coming up in just about a month's uh -oh. time i think exactly one month from now they're going to be doing the full multiplayer reveal of black ops 6 but again after the recent news right they come out and they talk about skill based matchmaking guys uh, and, uh, uh, because they're gonna have like 200 people this time as well 200 youtubers that they're gonna invite so guys the youtubers that you're inviting don't let them play on PC man let them play on console because if you let them play on PC they're gonna be doing that they're gonna be cheating and it's not gonna be a good look making and how good they think it is for the franchise and then they put cod on game pass which just completely ruins the experience because hackers are now free to just do whatever they want <laughs> with no consequences of any kind you know it's a lot of negative press negative press negative press and then suddenly they're like hey black ops 6 is coming <laughs> and then people are yeah. gonna forget about all the negative press we're all gonna be hyped for black ops 6 hop into the beta pre-order and all that nonsense but yeah you know yep. this is gonna be the first year where i actually don't uh, pre-order now and get the friendly They're probably going to be like, pre-order or none, get the friendly BBC Online as well, bro. Hi, Cod. Believe it or not, that's just because of Game Pass. I mean, overall, Xbox Game Pass is a very good value. And the fact that you can also have the PC Game Pass and just do all your stuff on PC as well if you don't want to play on console, or even if you don't have a console because they're pretty damn expensive, you know, it's a really great value. And so because I have Game Pass, I'm just going to get Black Ops 6 on Game Pass. Like, I have mm -hmm. no real need to actually purchase the game itself. I mean, Yeah, if you already got Game Pass, then yeah, this is actually very, very good. Those of you that don't have Game Pass, and Call of Duty is the only game that you're looking to get out of Game Pass, then it's not smart, right? Because after some months, after a few months, you're gonna be paying a lot more to play Call of Duty and you're not gonna own. So the second that subscriptions expires, you're not owning the game. And another benefit from Game Pass, I feel like, for those uh, that are unsure about a game, for example, Call of Duty is on Game Pass, right? And you're like, oh, you're on Xbox or PC, you're uncertain about Call of Duty. You're like, I don't want to buy this year because every year I buy, I get dicked down by Activision, right? Like, Daddy Activision always dicks me down and this year I'm going to fight back. But you're still like itching, right? You're like, I, 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 I want to play Call of Duty. I want to play Call of Duty. I want to play. And you you want to fire dopamine. You want to you wanna play the game. You want to try it out, right? Yeah, try it out. That's the key word. You can try it out with game pass pay for a month and play the game for a month and you can play other games uh, at the same time and uh yeah that way you will know and uh, if you still have the urge to continue uh you can either get game pass again and play other games as well or uh, if you're only looking to play call of duty then having game pass for call of duty alone that's not smart is what i'm saying you're better off buying the game instead of like paying monthly because you're gonna be end up in the long run you're gonna pay a lot more if that makes sense right but if you already have it or you want to play hundreds of other games as well yeah game pass is actually a very good deal and continue to use that service and be able to basically play the game for free that being said however there are still some downsides to game pass which we are seeing right now mm -hmm. and i have a feeling mm -hmm. this was such an unforeseen circumstance by yeah. microsoft and by activision that they really don't know what to do about it it's been a couple of days where this is happening and more and more people are figuring out that you can cheat very easily in cod with no real consequences whatsoever so until there's that big patch where they go through and they fix all this expect your modern warfare 3 multiplayer experience Call of Shame is gonna have a field day right now. Bad boy Beeman, the Batman of the community. Right? Bruh. B for Batman, B for Brahman, or I mean B for bad boy Beeman. I mean, bruh. Bruh. right? So he, the, these suckers gonna have a field day, man. These suckers, yeah, Call of Shame is gonna be to the rescue for the community, for the rescue. Yeah, it's gonna be crazy. But guys, check out this video on the screen because what's going on with Mr. Beast, Chris Tyson, most critical Dr. Disrespect, the situation is blown the hell up right now. I'm not sure if you guys were able to catch this or not because uh, Mr. Beast has not been caught as well. Alright, check out this video on the screen. If you already seen it, then check out the video on the left.